Hey, Brian Krause here. You can have the best sales pitch and the best products, but if you don't do this one thing, you're probably not going to hit your goal. This is so very simple, yet overlooked even by professional salespeople. The first step is the really easy part. You need to pick your fundraising goal. The only catch is you need to make it realistic. You don't want it to be too easy or too hard. I heard of a teenage kid named Mason Schaeffler from Michigan who sold over $100,000 of popcorn in a single season and over $400,000 in his scouting career. This scout is clearly a superstar. In my experience, with very little effort, most scouts can easily sell $300. Scouts who try a bit harder can usually get to around $1,000 and if you want to get to the $5,000 mark, it's very doable, but you will need to work at it after school most days for the popcorn season. I'm guessing you're thinking right now, what happened to picking a goal being really easy? It is, just pick one, and then we're gonna get to the second step, which is to work backwards from your number to create a sales plan. If you picked the wrong number, you can always change it, Remember, this isn't rocket science, it's selling popcorn. For my sample sales plan, I'm going to make a few assumptions. To start, I'm going to make my goal to raise $5,000. Next, I'm going to assume my average sale will be $25 a person. Remember, sometimes you'll find someone that will buy $100 of popcorn and sometimes $10. When you start selling to lots of people, you start to get many single product sales. With these two numbers, I'm going to divide my $5,000 goal by the $25 average sale to get 200 total sales needed. For my sales plan, I will want to figure out a path to get myself to 200 sales. If I do this, I have a really good chance of hitting my goal. For my plan, I'm going to use five sales channels or methods plus a special cheat code that I'll tell you about last. First, I'm going to send emails or text messages to all of my family members, family friends, and ask my parents if they have any coworkers I can reach out to. For this, I think I can make 30 sales. Second, I'm going to record a video of my sales pitch and have my parents post it to Facebook and LinkedIn. For this, I think I can get 15 sales. My third strategy is to go door to door for five days, spending an hour each day after school. This, I think will get me 25 sales. My fourth tactic will be to do site sales. If I do four hours of site sales, I think I can get 20 sales. Fifth, I'm going to call all my family and family friends I didn't hear back from with my emails and text messages. I think this will get me another 10 more sales. At this point, I've made 100 sales. I'm halfway to my goal. Remember that cheat code I mentioned earlier? I'm now gonna use it. Referrals are the ultimate way to make sales. When someone is so impressed with your hard work, they will want to tell their friends about you. So far, during this exercise, I've sold to 55 people over email, text, social media, or phone calls. This makes them very easy to reach out to. I'm going to ask if each of them will forward my email, text, or social media post with 10 of their friends. A bunch won't do this, but I'm going to assume 20 will, and this will help me reach 200 potential customers with 25 sales being made. I will do the same thing with each of those customers until I get 100 more sales. In a short amount of time, we've created a plan on how I can get to $5,000 in sales in a fairly straightforward way. Is it perfect? No, but it is done and we do have something to work towards. As you do your sales plan, tailor it to what works for you. Once you start working your plan, you quickly see what assumptions were good and which ones were a bit off. In our next video, we're going to talk about some tips and tricks to help you execute on your sales plan.